Good morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning it is, too. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be strapped down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Now, to fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown of Fremont Avenue. Skipper, is the new letter genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles have confessed in the short case. Ray Pinker will let us know in good time. A fine morning indeed. We keep locking them up, but the bodies keep piling up. Yeah, California's love a fad, Phelps. As long as the bricks hold up at San Quentin, there'll always be killers in this town to send. Greetings from sunny California. When's it gonna stop? So wait for the next turning and go right. First the letter, and now another body. Come on, we can't keep on telling me there's not a killer still out there. You know, Phelps, all these arrests on the record are giving you a reputation. We don't want them turning into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean full of minnows. The minnows make it the man, Phelps. You can't always hit home run. Sometimes you just gotta make the first move. Please, you've got to call for help. He doesn't look real good. Quick, what happened? Some punk held up my stand. This guy tried to help and got a bullet for his trouble. He got hit and hightailed it through the parking lot. Get going! Sleep on me. Get me back in close. You come any closer, I'll pull the trigger. Put the weapon down now. Car 11K calling KGPL. Shots fired. Suspect is down. We're code 4, but I need an ambulance on Grand between 4th and 5th Streets. 11K, Roger on your ambulance. All units be advised the suspect is down on Grand between 4th and 5th Streets. Repeat the suspect is down. Can you down drive to this one? Detectives? Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Scene secure. The rest of the patrolmen are going door to door, canvassing for witnesses. Thanks. Keep me informed. Will do, detective. This looks awfully familiar. Message with this one. At least she was left clothed. 
I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. The green silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. And no handbag or other personal effects. Appears to be a dry cleaning label. Superior laundry service. You catch all the good ones, Phelps. No drag marks. The killer was moving around, surveying the scene. Our driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. Detectives, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. Detective Feltz, LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. Did you see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. Do you have a description? Tall, gaunt. Horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary, angry man. Any idea where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow him around. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. Of course. Anything I can do to help. I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an address on Superior Laundry Services. Just a moment. Superior Laundry Services, 1260 West 1st Street. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, detective. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thank you. No message. Excuse me? There was no message. Where? On the VIC. The last bodies had something written on them. This one didn't. I'm failing to follow you. Can't be the same guy as what I'm saying, right? Before you start trying to link this to Maldonado and all the others. There are more factors to consider than the messages, Rusty. This doesn't fit your pattern, Cole. End of conversation. Understand? Possible forfeit. 
Okay, at the next corner, hang a right. You're taking the next left. I need you to take a left at the next corner. Take the next left. Taking the next left. Up ahead, you turn left. So wait for the next turning and go right. Good morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning it is, too. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be strapped down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Now, to fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown of Fremont Avenue. Skipper, is the new letter genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles have confessed in the short case. Ray Pinker will let us know in good time. A fine morning indeed. We keep locking them up, but the bodies keep piling up. Ah, yeah, California's love a fad, Phelps. As long as the bricks hold up at San Quentin, there'll always be killers in this town to send. Greetings from sunny California. When's it going to stop? So wait for the next turning and go right. First the letter, and now another body. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not a killer still out there. You know, Phelps, all these arrests on the record are giving you a reputation. We don't want them turning into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean full of minnows. The minnows make it the man, Phelps. You can't always hit home run. Sometimes you just gotta make the first move. Please, you've got to call for help. He doesn't look real good. Quick, what happened? Some punk held up my stand. This guy tried to help and got a bullet for his trouble. He got hit and hightailed it through the parking lot. Get going!
Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. What? I fought in two wars, you know, son. I think I earned some peace and quiet. Ah, uh, the bum isn't here. Look at these people. We should follow the only lead. These guys yeah, can yeah, wait. Yeah, yeah. from the papers. Solve that big case. It'll take a smarter man than me to connect that. Thing about Icatus. They don't talk about other people. An Englishman, an Irishman, and a Scotsman walk into the bar. The bartender looks up and says, What is this? Some kind of joke? can't ignore it's the same way the government does. I survived the war for this. Ah. Wrinkle was not one of the things I wanted to be when I grew up. I've got a feeling we're about to meet another wife killer. You've always got that feeling, Rusty. Yeah, and it's usually correct. Please, please, for once, can you not let your assumptions color your detective work? Just you wait. Nordic types show a particular disposition for this stuff. Straight through the next intersection. Take the next left. All the units also needs help. 415 and shots fired. 313 Bunker Hill Avenue. 313 Bunker Hill Avenue. Unit to handle code 3 identify. left at the next intersection.
Hello? Yes? Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Is your wife home, sir? My wife went out last night and she hasn't come home. Can you describe your wife and what she was wearing? We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a party. She was kind of dolled up. She had her green silk dress, open-toed white shoes. Those are her favorite shoes. Can we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. Do you have someone who can look after your children, Mr. Tarleton? I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. I'm afraid your wife was murdered last night. Her body was found this morning. We're very sorry for your loss. I know this is a difficult time, Mr. Tarleton, but we are going to need you to answer some questions. First, we're going to take a look around. What for? You don't think this that... This procedure. You see to your girls. Stay here till Daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's Mommy? Everything's gonna be all right, sweetheart. We would like Mommy to come home now, Daddy. What's the problem, Terrelson? Let him search. You got nothing to hide. Operator, give me dispatch. You want to hear something funny, Terrelson? Some bums think filling out a missing person's report actually rules a man as a suspect. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. Can you run an address for a Bobby Ross? Then send some uniforms over. Would you like him picked up? No. Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a prowl car dispatched. Thanks. doesn't appear to be connected. I need to check if she was a regular. I wonder why the picture was turned down. If you'd excuse me, ladies. So she went out without her handbag? We could see if Pinker can match the impression to the crime scene. that particular indignity. I'll be out of your way momentarily, ladies. This doesn't pertain to the case. Someone must be real sweet on this dive. Mm. 
she'd have to be in quite a state to leave this behind. Lars was out in the rain last night. match with the ligature marks. For the record, Mr. Terrelson, what is your wife's name? Teresa. Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. It can't be anyone who knew her. I think you're lying, Lars. I think you were mad at your wife for embarrassing you in front of your friends. I think you came back here and strangled her and then dumped her body on the hill. You think I strangled my wife? How do you expect to prove that? You're off the hook, for now. So you don't know anyone who would want her dead? No, I don't. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place? That's right, Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. And? I was playing pinochle with some of the guys. Teresa had a few belts too many. She said she wanted to go out dancing. Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Yeah, I think she was. I think you're in an unhappy marriage, Lars. I think you're lying, and you would like to get it off your chest. You telling me my wife was unhappy? What proof do you have of that? Sorry, my mistake. Spill it, Terrelson. We like the look of you for this, so you better give us something. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go out dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Good morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning it is, too. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be strapped down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Now, to fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown off Fremont Avenue. Skipper, is the new letter genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles have confessed in the short case. Ray Pinker will let us know in good time. A fine morning indeed. We keep locking them up, but the bodies keep piling up. Yeah, California's love a fad, Phelps. As long as the bricks hold up at San Quentin, there'll always be killers in this town to send. Greetings from sunny California. When's it gonna stop?
So wait for the next turning and go right. First the leather, and now another body. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not a killer still out there. You know, Phelps, all these arrests on the record are giving you a reputation. We don't want them turning into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean full of minnows. The minnows make it the man. But you can't always hit home run. Sometimes you just gotta make the first one. Please, you've got to call for help. He doesn't look real good. Quick, what happened? Some punk held up my stand. This guy tried to help and got a bullet for his trouble. He got hit and hightailed it through the parking lot. Get going! Sleep on me. Get me back in close. Put out an APB on the cab. Three five nine one. Should be traceable. Who was she with? We've had reports about a tall, gaunt-looking hobo. He wasn't here last night. I get plenty of bums in here, but nothing to fit that description. You've never served him. Not a chance. By the sound of it, he's the type of bum you send packing right when he walks through the door. Any idea where she was headed? Uh, nope. I didn't get that. She was murdered, Benny. Brutally murdered. If you like this lady, you should give us something. You telling me I'm not cooperating? Watch it, pal. You want us to catch the guy, sir. We need information, not cute answers and delaying tactics. I do my best, goddammit. What do you want from a guy? Any of your regulars know the broad? Ask him yourself. LAPD, keep your seats, boys. This won't take a second. Can't let the son of a bitch get away. LAPD, what are you running from, sir? Never mind. I got a ride. Get in and drive. I thought you were gonna leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered? We could have a killer on us. Come on, Phelps, you're letting this lust get away from you. I don't think the killer would be kicking back in the bar where he met the Vic in. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some reason, they're sticklers for routine. No! You gotta get me closer! Let's end this part. Put your hands where I can see them. Name. Richard Bates. What is it you want? I'll ask the questions. Firstly, why did you run? I don't mix with cops if I can help it. Last night, you went drinking with a lady in the bar. Now she's dead. And your face is all messed up. I'm in the clear on that. She preferred a sailor. You could lay it off on him. 
Are we finished? Tell us about Teresa Terrelson. What's to tell? So what happened when you left the bar? Sailor Boy laid one on me. A cheap shot. After that, I don't know. You've done time, haven't you, Richard? Is that why you ran? I'm on parole. On what offense? Sexual assault. Look, I was lying there on the sidewalk. He flags a cab and jumps in with the broad. We're taking you in, Bates. How come? Just for a chat. Nice, private chat. I'll explain my theory of once a degenerate, always a degenerate. Take him to Central. He's a material witness in a murder case. Find him a cozy cell. Richard here knows the drill. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an APB out on a yellow cab, number 3591. Ask dispatch to relay all sightings to car 11K. No problem. I'll get on the radio. Were there any incident reports filed in the vicinity of Barron's Bar on North Beaudry Avenue? We're tracking a sailor who was involved in a fight outside the bar. I can check the reports, Detective. I have a message for you from Captain Donnelly. Message reads, James Jessup, U.S. Navy Able Seaman, has information relevant to your case. Jessup is currently being detained at Central Station. Could be our man. Thanks for your help. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. And where exactly are we going? KBI Radio presents... He's in interview, too. Thanks. What do you make of him? Sailor on furlough, who looks like he's in trouble and knows it. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. We know why you're here, Jessup, so it would be best if you answered our questions truthfully. I don't want any trouble. That's why I'm here. I heard on the radio about this lady getting killed. I got leave from my CO to come down straight away. So why did you kill her? I didn't kill anyone. Look, you need to believe me. Let's start at the beginning. You went to Baron's Bar. What time did you arrive? I got a 24-hour pass. I got there around 7. That's where you met Teresa Terrelson? Sure. We had a couple of drinks. And you started talking. She looked good in her green dress. Up close, she was a little older than I thought, but like I said, I only had a 24-hour pass. You had a fist fight with Richard Bates over Mrs. Terrelson. You met the guy? He's a creep. You should take a look at him for this. I don't believe you, Jessup. You let Bates have it. What's to stop me from thinking that you lost your temper and slugged Teresa Terrelson, too? What have you got that says I hurt her? You got nothing on me.
You don't ask, you never find out. He's pointing the finger directly at you, Jessup. I only had one night before I was back in the tub. He had all the time in the world to look for some action. I belted him. I'd do it again. She was better off with me. Sure. You're a shining example of chivalry, Jessup. If your story doesn't check out, Jessup, we're hanging you out to dry. Can you put the guy in two in a cell and inform the commander? Sure, detective. Got a message for you. Sighting of your disfigured hobo on Grand between Temple and Sunset. And it looks like the bow has a record, too. He's wanted in connection with two female assaults. Thanks. I didn't want to arrest the kid. Three suspects in the can and one on the hoof. And still no hard evidence on any of them. KGPL to car 11K. 11K, come in. 11K, go ahead. Patrolman reporting that Bobby Ross's car game is breaking up at midnight. 11K, roger that. Only have time to get downtown, Cole. It's possible. Have them bring him in. KGPL, we have Lars Harrelson picked up. Caro 11K, we have a response on your ATV regarding the yellow cab number 359 one. The vehicle has been identified at a gas station. Now heading west on 7th Street. Garage on 7th Street. Let's hit it, though. The cab driver might tie this. Continue to respond. 11K, yellow cab number 3591 sighted in the corner of Wilshire and Whitford. Wilshire and Whitford, 11K. Don't turn here. Where's that cab got to now? Keep on going through here. Eleven K, further on your ATV on yellow cab number three five nine one. Vehicle identified as Reggie. LAPD, we're investigating a murder. What's that got to do with me? The fare you picked up from Baron's bar last night. What was the woman wearing? It's a green dress. Oh, don't tell me something's happened to her. Tell me about her. She was with this sailor, and he was all over her. She wasn't having any of it. Said she just wanted to dance, but he had that look in his eye. Where did you drop them off? It's at the Crystal Ballroom. What time? Uh, after midnight. 12.30? Something like that. Thanks. You've been a big help. Well, that's going to ruin my day. Boy, up there you go right now. Straight through the next intersection. You're going straight here. You're taking the next left. Through this intersection. If we 
we survive this, it's going to be a miracle. Go right through here. Take the next right. Take the next right. LAPD, we'd like a word with you. Save it for someone who's interested. They're fascists. Come to move us on and steal what little we have left. Six rounds won't get us far. We need you to stay copacetic. We need to hold out to the cavalry. How do we do that? Like this. Fuck oh, ah! you down, fellas. You want Killing to make you feel powerful. Share. We need to fight for it! You're doing them a favor, partner. What's your name? Comrade Stalin. Very funny. We'll find out from your personal effects. Stuart Ackerman. You're under suspicion for murder, Ackerman. We're taking you downtown. You. You can't do anything more to me than what the Japanese have already done. Kremlin's over here, Phelps. Toss it, see what you find. Nothing significant. Looks familiar. Safe better to match the mark under Teresa Terrellson's chin. Still working, Jack. I'm off to the Lighthouse Club in Santa Monica. Hello, Jack. Mr. Benson, this is Courtney Sheldon. He's a buddy of mine from the war. Well, I'm sure you two will want to polish some old war stories. Good evening, Jack. Mr. Sheldon. Good night, sir. Take a seat, Courtney. We need your help, Jack. I told you I would have nothing to do with that. I'm fine too, Jack. Medical school's going well. I got a part-time job. Do dope peddlers need part-time jobs? We made a mistake and we're in trouble, Jack. A local gangster, Mickey Cohen, is putting on the squeeze. So hand it over, walk away. What's stopping you? We had a deal with them that they would dole it out slowly. They said they would supply abortion clinics and doctors, but they've been moving it on to addicts, and they can't cope with the purity. So your problem is with gangsters being dishonest. My problem is that people are dying, and that if this gets back to us, we'll all end up in jail. So how am I supposed to help, Courtney? This isn't the war. I can't just wave a magic wand and clean up your mess. We want you to negotiate, Jack. The only thing these guys understand is force, Sheldon. They got to the top back east by proving to be more vicious than the English, the Irish, and the Dutch. They make their own laws. That's the nature of a secret society. God's sake, Courtney, you want to be a doctor. How can you fight with that? 
we are better trained, Jack. I didn't make it through the war to come back to this kind of shit, Sheldon. Jessup's alibi checks out. Bates is a recidivist. He'll be pulling the same stick until we put him away for good. Ackerman has history, opportunity, hard evidence. What motive? We have the evidence. We know she was here. All we need is a confession and we can charge the bum with murder. Reports this. Steady, come on! We're going this way. Ackerman, you were in the Marines. How do you know? The Corps selected big guys for flamethrower duty. That's how you got the burns. Life expectancy was five minutes for a guy in flamethrower detail. What kind of a government puts weight like that on a man's shoulders? You'll get no argument from me. It was a heavy load. You feeling sorry for this smelly fuck? Why did you kill Mrs. Terrelson? I have no recollection of the people I have killed. You hate women, Ackerman? More than you could ever imagine. How much did you hate Mrs. Terrelson? I ache to put my seed in them. Afterwards, I have no use for them. A bus driver dropped Mrs. Terrelson near your camp around 2 a.m. Why did you take her up to the hill? Which hill? I have many places. I go where I please. You are clearly insane, Ackerman. The state of California does not execute mental patients. I don't know the names of the women I've killed, but I've killed many of them. Their necks are so fragile. Stuart Ackerman, I am charging you with the murder of Teresa Terrelson. A man down on his luck I can abide. 
But a filthy red who chooses to live outside the rules of society, I cannot stomach. Maybe poor threes of Tarleton will provide the catalyst we need. I've spoken to the chief and the mayor, and I think it's time we send some men in to remove the godless and send them on their way over the county line. A grand day that will be, gentlemen. And a grand result you have brought me. You two are fast becoming my finest crusaders.